Well, what do you think about this? James Lipton, you probably remember him from Inside the Actor's Studio. He's a guy that really got into it late in the game, this guy did. And, I mean, he was doing this show when he was late 80s, early 90s. He just retired in 2018, and he just passed away at the age of 93. He's been hosting the show for 24 years. He started in 1994. And you might remember he had a lot of really thought-provoking questions that he would ask. And it seemed like, you know, major celebrities loved going on his show. Big time. The, the greatest, oh, all the greatest. The greatest one I've ever seen. If you ever get a chance, watch the one he does with Dave Chappelle. It is so good. Dave Chappelle is great. The Bradley Cooper one yeah. is great. Yeah. The Angelina Jolie one is great. Now, he had a lot of uh, questions I always thought were kind of interesting, and they're good to ask. In fact, I'm like, how would I answer that? Because I always loved what celebrities would say, and I'm like, man, they answer that better than I would. I always feel like I didn't have the right answer for that. Here are some of James Lipton's best questions. How would you answer it if you were on Inside the Actor's Studio? What is your favorite word? Favorite word. Now, there's two (laughs) questions he asks. He'll ask your favorite word and then your favorite curse word. So those could be separate. So if you had to say your favorite word... Maybe the most powerful word, and what is your favorite curse word? We'll do favorite word first, Virginia. Oh. Do you have a favorite word? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is just off the top of my head. That you can say on the radio, if not abbreviated. <laughs> I like buttafuco. <laughs> buttafuco. But, uh, that's just me in the spur of the moment. Okay, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. I always look at these. I'm like, well, how much prep time do they have on these? Do, yeah, do they get the questions ahead of time? And then what is the greatest answer to I have for that? Most celebrities say the curse word, the F-bomb. Yeah, that usually is the most popular when it comes to curse word. I heard a lot people would say your favorite word is like love or, you know, a powerful, empowering word like that. And ever since I was a kid, I've loved the word llama. Even when I would just <laughs> be doodling, I would I would be writing the word llama over and over again. You it's, do. I, I, for some reason, love that word. Yeah. Llama. Okay. I also like rigatoni, and I love stromboli. <laughs> Just kind of rolled off the tongue. Stromboli. Huh? Imagine that. It's pasta. Stromboli is a fun word. Okay. And carbs. Well, on the flip side of it then, what is your least favorite word? If you had a least favorite word. Kardashians. Okay. Kardashian is yours. Virginia, oh. do you have one? Sober. Okay. That's horrifying <laughs> for you. Uh, some of the other popular ones I've heard, I, I think the N-word is oh yeah, I mean oh, that yeah. goes without saying. Of course, Kevin's yeah. making us look bad over yeah. here. Well, I'm just saying. Can we change just... your answer? Yeah, okay, we agree. The N word's the. Word. I'm going to do this better than you guys. He's got to upstage yeah. us. He, all, he had prep time. He did. His bit. Yeah, <laughs> the You're rig right. is in, y'all. Yep, all We're designed jerks. to make you look bad. We're jerks. We didn't. We didn't say hate speech. He's yeah, over there looking no. Great. You're right. You blew it. <laughs> what turns you on? One of James Lipton's best questions. What is it that turns you on? Loyalty. Okay. See, that's a smart answer. Loyalty. That is a smart answer. I have something dumb. I was going to say yoga pants. Oh, yeah, well, that on a physical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what gets me going. What about you, Virginia? Confidence. Confidence. That's a big one. If you're going physical, glasses can turn me on. Okay. I like glasses on a, on a woman. I do like glasses, too. Glasses are hot. I feel like you can take somebody who's not very attractive and slap some glasses on them, and all of a sudden you're like, oh. Hey, let's have some wine. Gives him a chance. <laughs> I don't know. I think it makes let's people, have I, some wine. I think when you put the glasses on, you don't know. And I think that's just kind of it. There's like, I don't know. I can't tell if they're hot or not. I just, for some reason, ever since I was a kid, I've been drawn to glasses. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of movies from the 80s where the hot girl was wearing the glasses and it took them off. And then I know. Magically, all of a sudden, she's, you know. But she was hot the whole time. The glasses didn't block that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what turns you off? Another popular James Lipton question. What turns you off? Um, I think there are a couple things that uh, turn me off. Uh, The quickest way is uh, anybody who's like very self-centered. I think that's a big turn off. Very uh, conceited, I guess, is the word. Poor manners. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Unclean. 
Okay. On the, on the physical level? Yeah. On the physical level, I don't like the dirty look. The grungy, I haven't washed my hair, my mm-hmm. fingernails are dirty, like, ee, yuck, do not touch me with them paws. Do you have a, do you have a turn off physically? Turn off something that somebody might have physically like she she's talking about her it, it's more physical it's like you know they're 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 not bathing that turns her off do you have something where you look at somebody like oh, I, I just can't no but i'm desperate <laughs> <laughs> i'll sleep with dirty yes <laughs> trust me at this point I'm not, I'm not eliminating anybody what sound or noise do you love what sound or noise do you love? The sound of little kids laughing. Laughter is my number one. Without I a doubt, it. life is good when you hear laughter. Laughter is good. Unless you are in a torture chamber and you hear laughter. You're right. That's terrifying, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ruined laughter. I didn't ruin it. I'm just trying to keep it real. <laughs> what sound or noise do you hate? What sound uh, or noise? Dirt of the day is coming up in three <laughs> Is there a sound or a noise? I hate the sound of a broken guitar string, and I hate the sound of hearing a car crash. Because you, you hear it, you're like, okay, who's dead? There's something bad that is on the other end of that. Yes. Mm-hmm. The first note of any snack pack song? Damn! Oh, no. oh whatever. Oh. I know you love my snacky style. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I can't even lie. Mm-hmm. You're in the snack pack, you dope. <laughs> You're dissing your own group. <laughs> <laughs> Got that burn, no. And uh, another James Lipton question here from inside the actor's studio. What profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Other than your own, would you like to attempt? I've always thought it'd be cool to uh, like be a chef, but I know I don't have the skills, but I wish I did, and I'm just so in awe. I want to be one of those detectives, but... The murderer is, it's like a cat and mouse kind of a game. The murderer is like sending letters to that detective, and you have to figure out who this is as they're murdering. Kind of a sleuth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess like I could have just said sleuth, but. Yeah. I'm going to go president. President? Like, yeah. See, he's, he's, getting, he's getting warmed up. Yeah. Because my boy is going to run for office here in Washington. I'd Palm. like to take a crack at it. I'd like to see what it's all about. I would just like to see the ins and outs. What are briefings like? What kind of information do you know on a daily basis? How hard is it to come up with some of these decisions? Who helps you make them? How tough is the job, really? How stressful is it? Are you going to ask his most famous question? That's the one when you die? Oh, yeah, this was the uh, interesting one that uh, a lot of people would uh, pose to him, and this is how he actually answered it himself. Here's my question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates, James Lipton? You see, Jim, you were wrong. I exist. <laughs> but but you, may, you may come in anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. I think mine would be, got a beer waiting for you inside. That would be awesome. I'd be like going, because you're in heaven, and I could have all the craft beer I wanted, and there's, it's not going <laughs> to do anything to my body. I would dive right in. I'd be like, oh, my gosh, a cold beer just waiting right there at the pearly gates would be absolutely fantastic. I'd be like going, this is heaven. Keto Kev is dead. Keto Kev, de- we don't care about <laughs> Keto Kev. Oh, my gosh. If he's like, oh, heaven yeah. Heaven Kev gets all the beer he wants. Yeah, cold beer and dessert bar in there for you. I'd be, <gasps> I love oh, it. Oh, fat Kev and Hev. Oh, oh, man. Fat Kev and Hev. I yeah. Love, sounds like a Disney show. Oh, it'd be amazing. Fat Kev Hev. I would eat the first 20 years of my existence in heaven. <laughs> I baby, wouldn't even stop. Eternity. You can have Me all, and the the bird. Str- all the strombolis that you want, Fat Kev. I'm going dessert bar, man. Uh, well, we can do it both. Sundays. Look, we'll do it both. Mm-hmm. What is it uh, about you, Virginia? What do you want to hear if you get at the pearly gates? I think I would want to hear something along the lines of, you know, come on in, you... You did a good job leaving the world a better place. Oh, so they're going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. They're kind of snickering. I mean. I'm just kidding. Baby, you do make the world a better that's place. That's my friend. I mean, how do you think my enemies feel? Oh, you just, man. You just dish the snack pack. Yeah. <laughs> it's all out war here. It oh, is. okay. Is this tip for tat? <laughs> I don't, I'm not comfortable saying that word. Because <laughs> I think I, I don't know if you can. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, if you want to uh, give us your own answers, we have the uh, questions posted up on Damn. our Facebook you page. Shaver, what do you want? I guess I'm going to hell. <laughs> he got skipped. What do you want, Bird? Damn, that is messed up. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're an afterthought. What do you want to hear oh, that, when I'm you good. get into heaven? I'm good. I, I don't think Kevin thinks I'm going there, Virginia. <laughs> that got revealed quick. All right. I need your answer okay. before I can move on. Jay Bird. Aunt Ann and Kay is waiting for you. They're making strombolis. Okay. Okay. And they're mad at Kevin for skipping. And they're skipping still mad at Kevin. For skipping. <laughs> <laughs>